I'm gonna take the remote control mower with me to do a Freemo Fridays. Now I'll have a lot of people in the main video, I'm sure, complaining, questioning the uh, efficiency of using this machine for the tasks I'm gonna be using it for. Uh, but I try these things out. Um, this thing arrived yesterday, so I'm just super keen to use it. Any opportunity I get, I definitely don't think it's the best tool for the style of yard that I'm going to do now, but uh, I, I test these things out. I gave it a little go yesterday, Karthik had a go of it too. We'll be talking about it on the Turf and Tools podcast, so make sure you check that out if you like podcasts. We're where everyone posts podcasts, Spotify, Apple, um, everywhere else. There's a video version on YouTube. Let's go and find somewhere to mow for free mow Fridays. This could be fun. So this place has, oh! <laughs> This place has the appearance of no one being here, but let's go knock on the door. See uh, if anyone's there, to be honest with you. If no one answers, I'm gonna clean up this nature strip anyway. That's not their land, that's um, you know council land. Uh, and it needs a clean up. Yeah, normally I'll avoid doing places if no one's here. Wow, that'll be fun. I brought the shovel today. Haven't had the shovel for a long time. I don't even know if anyone's here. Oh, hey, how are you doing? I didn't think anyone was here. It's, uh, have you heard of Freemo Fridays? I, on TikTok? Yeah. In, in the US, someone, I think I've seen it. In the US? Like, Freemo, Freemo Fridays, Australia. My problem is that box. What box? There's a box in there. There's wood. So oh, okay. Where the, where the, um, oh, I see. Like yeah. a garden area. Yeah. So when we moved in in 2017, yeah. Um, the end of the box, um, this bit was all like. Um, ah, red. okay. What well, it was and a. The grass just grew over. So you've got a sort of timber retaining wall around okay, here, well, around that plant. Be grass nah. in there. So there's um, parts of these is, is dead. Yeah. We're all still, there's about six of these in here. In yeah, no, that garden's over. <laughs> <laughs> every time we've pulled it out, I've, um, I've got a bleeding disorder, and so like every oh. time I've pulled the grass, we've pulled the grass out, I've like busted my elbow. Oh, jeez. Um, How do you feel about me cleaning it up then? No, that'd be lovely. You happy with that? You happy with me to film everything? You, yeah, you, you've fine. seen that sort of stuff? Yeah. yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, but like 20 minutes, you should be able to knock over oh, yeah. for maintenance your place. Yeah, but then but... you've got to recharge it. Yeah, that's yeah, like, of course. Cool. Oh, well, they don't last forever. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got a remote control mower to test out here today, so that'll be fun, yeah. Um, I'm keen to try that out. I'll leave it, yeah, don't stress, I can get all that, but uh, what's the back like? The back is just bad. Is it? I mean, uh, so. Let me get my um, camera, I'll come have a look. How do you get around there? Uh, I'll open the garage. The garage. But is there access through, like a drive-through the garage? garage there's, a, there's a automatic door. Yeah. And then there's a manual. Rot like a yeah, roller. So oh, sweet. Okay, that's good. Cause yeah, my um, my remote control mower was a little bit wide. So, God, they build right to the boundary here, don't they? Oh yeah. Well, that's cool. They are here. We have permission. It's gonna be very satisfying to clean up. Obviously, I'm not gonna spoil it for the main Freemo Fridays video. So you'll have to watch that on the Tim the Lawn Mower Man channel for the full cleanup of this place. I'm just going out to check out the back in a second. We've got two green bins here, which is welcome. Oh, okay. You know, newer stuff, like the-, the I'll tell you what the-, the And the fact that it's probably too big into yes. it, it clumps immediately, but usually it will barely like build here. If you- it gets stuck. No more than two weeks. If you mow regularly like that, yeah. you won't have the dramas that you're having. So I'll get it back in shape and then yeah. if you can, that, well, is that enough space or do you need to shoot? Yeah, that's fine. If you or your flatmates can keep on top of it from then, yeah. it'll be a hell of a lot easier. Yeah. Wow. This is, there's actually grass here, that's, which is funny. It's been that long. That, that, um, pretty much here to the, like the downpipe um, has hardly ever had grass on it. Okay. Oh, wow. This is quite a, oh. I mowed this maybe Wow, okay. Uh, but like, yeah, it's like any time I've, it's been a nice day like today. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, see there's all dead grass there from when it was done last time too, which doesn't make it. I didn't actually go, go over it a second time and actually. Yeah. I did it obviously because it was 
not quite this long. This is going to look very ugly once I'm done, but it'll be maintainable. Um, yeah. Well, I don't know what I'll get done today. I, I know I won't get it all done today now, no, but sure. um, I'll be back tomorrow definitely. I'll start today. Yeah, I can tell from here, yeah. Apart from that, it's a pretty simple uh, backyard. All right, well, I'll, um, I'll get into it. I'm going to start out the front and then uh, I don't know how much I'll get done. I'll get done what I can today and then, yeah, it's a project for me. Oh, yeah. We have a project. We could have multiple videos here. Look at these. That's um, um, wild. Yeah, and it's so hard. Like, the, the pipe loves to grow in between the cracks. Isn't yeah. It? I'll, uh, so that, that I'll get it all out and then I'll spray it. Yeah, the Sticky Beak Farmer's Friends has always been there. Yeah. Right at the edge of the driveway. Yeah. And I've pulled it out a couple of times. No worries. All right. Leave it with me. I'll get it sorted out. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. No worries. Ooh. So we have a massive task. <laughs> Generally these blocks, they're pretty small, so you can sometimes knock them over in a few hours, but I got a lot of work here, particularly out the back, just with the volume of grass. So I definitely won't be finishing today. I will be coming back tomorrow. Yeah, be a good lawn for the flail mower. So I might even bring that back for the backyard. The remote control mower, it just isn't gonna cut it out the back. But we're gonna throw it in the deep end for the nature strip anyway, just to try it out. Got to put it to the uh, extreme test. I don't know where to start. Gonna have to move the ute first. Now this remote control mower is not to be confused with the one, the bigger one that I showed on my main page the other day. This is a smaller, more residential focused 21 inch one. It's a machine, it's not even out yet. Um, it's a, it just launched a Kickstarter, I believe, or it's about to be launched. So you can't even get it yet. I still haven't worked out the best way to get it on and off. Two people would be a lot easier. Actually not as bad as I thought. That's not too bad. This is the Morator. I believe that's how you pronounce it anyway. That's how you spell it, you work it out. It's an electric um, remote controlled battery mower. So big battery in there, traditional style blade, bar blade on it, caster wheels at the front, some chunkier ones at the back. You can do rear discharge, mulch it, and also catch it. Now this sort of stuff really isn't what it's intended for, but we like to put stuff to the, test it to the limits here to see what it can do. Yeah, don't ask me, I don't know about pricing yet. They haven't released the pricing for the Kickstarter yet. This isn't paid. They did reach out and I thought it sounded really interesting. So I wanted to try it out. Obviously, this is what I do. I show uh, equipment. So when someone reaches out to me with something that's a little bit unique, I definitely get a bit excited and am happy to try it out and make some videos on it. It's kind of a no-lose scenario for me here. Like if it isn't the most effective mower in these conditions, it doesn't matter because it's fun as hell. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try it on the highest level first, bagging it. Um, I don't think we'll have a lot of luck with it, but hey, we're gonna give it a go. Let's check it out. On we go. I mean, would I want to use this thing really in these small sorts of areas with really overgrown grass? No, but as I said, we're just testing it out and it got through it. We're going to go a little shorter now. All right, so that was interesting to say the least. Definitely fun. Clearly would have been able to knock it over quicker with my uh, commercial self-propelled mower. I can't stress enough. I, like, I don't think this is the scenario where this mower is going to be a winner. It's going to be in bigger open areas, but I wanted to try it. Right, yeah, let's see how it goes as a finishing mower. Picked up quite a bit. I can definitely say it looks a lot better than when we got here. I mean, that's what it was looking like prior to getting here. Progress. 
Let's do the other side of the nature strip now. Honestly, you would have no idea that this garden bed or this, uh, I don't know, retaining wall garden bed thing was here. That was completely hidden. There's so much grass throughout. I don't even know how I'm going to get to it. I might just have to whip a snip the best I can and then hit it with some um, good night juice. But that's just what That is wild. That's all grass. That is all grass. Oh. I'm not even going to get near the back today. We're going to get this done. I'm going to try and get some bins here because there's that much volume of grass out the back. That's going to have to be next week's video. But yeah, today is just going to be about trying to attack this the best we can. If you watch the main video and you see someone saying it, you know, it looked better before it was carred, it's brown underneath. I'm sure your regular viewers know that that's just the color underneath. Down there doesn't get any sun, so we've got no color. But this stuff is very, very hard to even kill, so it's going to bounce back. The best thing for it is an even more harsh cut, if I'm being honest. You wouldn't have even known that was there either. It looked like a grassed area. That's the pile that was in there. Runners, man, they are crazy. The grass is kaiku, you guys know it. If you don't want to mow often, don't get it. You can have it looking nice, but uh, don't leave it for months and months, or you're going to be in big trouble. Those runners are going to pop those tiles eventually, I bet. I actually thought this was a grassed area. Uh, it's not. That was some work. I am still going to spray in those cracks once I'm done here. Hopefully to prevent it coming back. But yeah, that's that's a lot of garbage over the driveway. Well, that looks a little different now. You can see all those marks where it was. Just shows how extreme it was all the way down the path. Welcome back. Still, um... I was going to say plenty of work to do, but no, it's just more annoying work left to do. I'm going to take some of these palm fronds off the bottom here, just so I can get better access to all this grass. i got a little Kebtech um, chainsaw to try out on that too, so I don't know how it'll go through that stuff being really green, but uh, we're going to give it a go. I'm back. Hey. hey. I'll get out of your way. All right, we've got some palm fronds there we're going to get rid of. We're going to try out the Kebtech. Uh, this is their five inch chainsaw. Do have to uh, lube the chain prior to use. It's not self lubricating. Doesn't have a reservoir for the, the bar oil. So just whack some of that on before you use it each time. 16.8 volt battery. Let's see if we can get it in. 2 amp hour battery and the safety is on either side so left or right handed it's going to be operable for you it does sound like it rips uh, we're going to try it out on some palm fronds here I don't know that that's the smartest application for it so yeah I am by no means a chainsaw expert but I'm going to take these off I had this to test out so we're going to give it a go Oh. 
I just tore through that. That was pretty effective, actually. So I'm just trying to get enough off so I can get access to all of this grass under here. I've got to say, that absolutely ripped through those. Fits in the hand very easily. Easy one-hand operation. Be interesting to see how long the battery lasts. I might give it a runtime test at some point. But yeah, that's the 5-inch uh, Kebtech chainsaw. Whatever plants are in there are just going to have to be sacrificed. We're just going to have to clean it up with the line trimmer and then uh, spray it afterwards. This is without a doubt the thickest grass I've ever seen. Like, I don't know if this has ever been mowed. It is, I don't know words. Look. We're just gonna blitz it up. Well, that's totally on me, but that is how you destroy one of your favorite mowers. Oh. Yeah, it's completely broken the uh, plastic where it... Uh, yep. So yeah, I just destroyed my, uh, one of my favorite, possibly my favorite battery mower. Again, totally my fault. This is completely sheared off. I hit a I hit this uh, I hit this bolt that was that sticks up. Uh, I knew I knew it was there. I just thought I was clear of it. Um, so yeah, totally on me. Ah. Uh, It'll be interesting to see, like, hopefully these things have some sort of repairability. It would be really poor design if they're not fixable, um, because things happen. And when things happen, if you have to bin stuff, it's really not ideal. This plastic section, which um, holds the motor in, is just completely sheared off now I've been pretty lucky with breakages like especially for what I do so you're always going to break things things will break accidents will happen uh, that was me rushing because uh, I've got to get out of here by a certain time and still got lots to do but um, ah, it's just sad it's a sad day there is a I haven't got a backup mower here but um, there's a mower here. Hopefully this will vacuum up the rest of the grass. Rightio, I was going to paint here, but I just think it's too patchy. It's gonna to be too, there's too much dirt we'd be painting. I just, I don't think it's the right yard for it. I really don't. Like it's all just thick runners and yuck. Yeah, we could do it, but I just, I'm going to save the paint for another week. I think we can find a better place for it. Still have to come back for the backyard, which as you can see, is no small task. I've got managed waste service bringing a bin out for me so I can get rid of this. I might bring the flail out here. I think that's what I'll do actually. It'll get through that well. This was, for, for a tiny yard, this was a lot of work. Devastated that I broke a mower. <laughs> totally my fault again. 
Uh, but yeah, puts a little dampener on it, unfortunately. We are done here for today. Just got to get rid of... I don't think I'm going to have time to do a tip run. We've got a bit of grass here. Those palm fronds. Thanks for watching the vlog. See you in the next one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm.